Hello, everyone. Welcome back to more Dicey Dungeons. <laughs> I can't keep that up for too long. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Dicey Dungeons. We're going to be playing as the witch, which I did say. Which, which I did say. Look at that. Was probably a favorite character in the alpha. A lot of people have... <laughs> this game is blown up. This is crazy. I've been covering this game for like a year. It's, it's so crazy to see it blowing up now. But a lot of other people have been uh, been playing and they seem to have so much trouble with the witch and hopefully I don't today. Hopefully they didn't change anything too much, but I'll be excited to show off the character. Hey everyone, I'm hashtag blessed to be going on this amazing adventure with you. Don't forget to subscribe for updates. Hey, thank you for saying subscribe for daily Dicey Dungeons. I can't believe you would put that in the game. Time for another round of Dicey Dungeons where the fun never stops. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, no. Just like a contestant who are trapped here forever. Oh shoot, we missed the little intro. I know that she is a, uh, like an Instagrammer type, uh, type character, I, I believe. That's how she plays. No, um, she's played completely differently than the other characters, like all the other ones. She has a spell book, and in order to <laughs> do moves, we have to put a number in here. See, we need to put a one so we can get cauldron out. We need to put a two so we can get infliction out, which is just do... Oh, which is just do three damage. Put any die in, do three damage. But there we go. We just do that. And then we also have the ability to throw extra dice. Can be quite cool. But so you can only have six things. You have no backpack. Yeah, no backpack. So it is very... Okay, you know what? That was a mistake. <laughs> that was a misplay, I think. No, wait, no. What am I talking about? Infliction. Okay, so here's the thing. I think we're, we're I think we're good. No, we're not. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Did we have lethal? I feel like we could have. Oh my goodness. What is she saying? And then her special is that she can roll three extra dice. Boink, 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 boink. No reason to really care about that right now, though. It's the first floor. This shouldn't really be any, uh, any real issue. Nudge. I don't know how much I care about that. Uh, I'll probably end up replacing this. For now, I'll just put it on four, because who cares? We don't have an idea of what place... There, there are, is some situations where putting it on certain numbers will be better or worse, you know? Matter more or less. For now, it doesn't really matter. Do we... I guess I'll put a nudge down, sure. I suppose I will. And then we'll even... You know what? Let's crystal ball. Sure. Get a cauldron. Blap. And then just do the extra damage. Just so we can get a guaranteed KO on the next turn. I mean, we're going to get a little bit of our crystal ball charged up here. You know, it's not too big of a deal one way or the other. Boom. 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 There's a lot of room for misplaying with the witch. There's a lot of room for misplaying with all of them. But, uh, oh. I'll go with ice. I'll go with ice. Odd. Honestly, I kind of wanted on the four spot, so that was maybe we should put that on three, because it's an odd number, so you don't really want to, you know, use up your odd number on it. I guess I'll put it on six, huh? I suppose. I suppose. Then even magic missile, we can put that on three. Does five damage for any even die. You can change what you have prepared as well, just like this, you know. So depending on whoever we fight, we may want to change what we have prepared. There's some enemies, like Sneezy right here, is very, very, very weak to ice. So I'm just going to go and take uh, take him down with the frost right here. Because if he rolls a 1, he doesn't do very much damage. He does 2 damage that way. So we're guaranteed to make him uh, do not very much damage. Set this down for later. Do the five right there. Guaranteed he can only do two damage to us. Not so bad. And we can make it happen again as long as we roll an even number. And we did. So bada bing bada boom. And we got Cauldron to potentially roll a different... Why am I doing this? To roll a different odd number. I think we can have lethal next turn with, with everything. If not, all we need to do is roll an odd number. We'll only take two damage. All right. You know what? Let's hope for something bigger, bigger and better. So that's three. We don't have lethal. Nor can we. Right? Right. 
We could have maybe put down Nudge, Nudge the 6 to a 5, put the 5 in there. That I don't think we would have got had Lethal in that situation either, though. Doesn't really strike me as necessarily that big of a deal. Why use your brain when you don't have to? Throw the die. All right. What do you got for me, baby? Hall of Mirrors. It's a trap, man. It's a trap. It sounds amazing, and sometimes it is. We'll take it because we might as well. But it sounds amazing. But let me tell you, it is a trap. You, it has to, you have to fall into it naturally, or you have to have it prepared already in a build where you have two slots. And in that case scenario, I don't know if it's like even worth it. Okay, so Ice Shard. We could have Ice Shard prepared for this one. Or we could have... I mean, Magic Missile is nice and easy. Cauldron's usually a safe bet, you know, because it's just like... If you don't like the, the hand you get thrown, you get to change it up. And that's usually a smart idea to have right off the bat. I probably should have picked up an apple there before the fight. Oh, hell yeah! yeah. Put down another magic missile. Sure. Sure. So no matter what we roll next turn, we should be fine. We're going to take two damage. I mean, should be, by should be fine, I mean we should have something where... You know what? Cool. I mean, it's not lethal, but it's a lot of damage. And this is going to hurt. It's going to be our, our most painful turn yet. We probably should have just went for the uh, the safety there. So if you throw a burning die, it actually does two damage instead of one. That that's good strats, you know. You can make you can make magic happen there. So here's the a big divergent path. You can have either another spell prepared right away, or you can have one of your bottom two slots be upgraded. So whenever you put a dice in or a, a spell in there, it becomes the upgraded version, which can be a big deal. Both of them can be. I'm trying to think of what we have right now, and I'm kind of feeling an upgraded slot. Split a dice in two, add two poison, add three shield. Huh. Let me look at what we got. We got a lot of stuff. I mean, we got the even number and the odd numbers there. Split a dice in two. I mean, that can be really beneficial on this character. I don't think that was... I don't know... I don't recognize Slime Ball or Magic Keith from being in the alpha version. I'm kind of leaning towards... Nothing? But I might want to put... Uh, what was the odd one? The shield? Might want to put the shield on. Instead, sure. I'll put the shield on instead of nudge. Hall of Mirrors is a trap. If we can get an extra prepared slot, we might be able to have some fun with that, though. But here we go. Look at this. I shot the upgraded one on that. I know that it makes it so it doesn't have to be an odd number. So you can put a six in there and do big damage. Okay. I mean, I don't love that. I don't love that. Definitely going to just crystal ball that pretty much straightforward there. Kind of feeling a cauldron. Yeah. Huh. There's so many options here. Too many options here. I will take two damage to do this. And well... Ay, ay, ay. We could put down the infliction, do three damage there. Or we could just do that throw the die i mean it's on fire so we you know it's two we're gonna take another four damage and two burn i will be quite baffled if we don't have lethal give me a big number all right well that's lethal right there you don't even you know sometimes it's it's right in front of you you know sometimes it's just right in front of you, you don't have to do anything fancy we got these apples sitting here for us moving on to the next floor Bully. Another one that's actually quite weak to freeze. Might be noticing a pattern here. A lot of these enemies are really weak to freeze. 
You know what? Hell yeah, same deal. Freeze them both. Oh, that saved us six damage. Because he would have thrown that in the rock for sure. Alright, he does big damage, so we might as well, you know, do big damage back. We've got the Hall of Mirrors there that we can't do. The upgraded Hall of Mirrors, all you need to do is put in an even number. Can we talk about the fact that I just rolled no even numbers, though? That's pretty crazy. No even numbers at all. Come on, give me a cauldron, man. Oh, come on! What are the odds? I will put down a magic missile for myself for next turn to basically get a what I would consider a guaranteed KO. But the freeze is really wrecking the man. Gives us six damage instead of what would have been way nastier. Uh, yep. Yep. Oh, this is hard. Give me an odd number. Why have I done this to myself? Why have I done it to myself? He's going to put the four in the rock. I mean, at least he should. That hurts. That hurts a lot. And we have no way to heal ourselves, which is a little bit of a problem. But we do have the apple. We got this. Freeze one die. Roll a one. I mean, that would be good if... We had something else on the one. Ice shard? We can't move it, you know? Wait, what's that point of this? Oh. Uh, I'm probably going to skip it. However, it's not bad at all. If this was like Magic Missile and it did 5 damage, even no matter what odd number I put in, I'd be like, hell yeah. But right now, I don't think so. I, I just don't think we're usually looking for... I mean, unless we wanted to go for a situation where we play with the Magic Shield a lot, I think I'm going to skip that. Level up in 2. I'll fight the Baby Squid. Uh, Baby Squid, he really wants to roll even numbers, so we can make him not roll even numbers quite easily. Could get Hall of Mirrors out. But I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. Boom, boom. He can't actually deal damage to us unless he does not even. Yay! That's a lethal. And we got ourselves a full heal there, too. No problem. Duplicated die or double the dice value. This can definitely come in handy. Uh, I'm going to take it, or I'm going to try to take it. And maybe we'll just go crazy, go for the shield instead, or maybe we'll get rid of Infliction, to be honest. Cauldron's, like, kind of just nice to have... Probably regret that, huh? Magic Spear needs a six. Do ten damage, and you do have to put in two of the same dice to unlock it. That can be great, especially with duplicate. Would maybe have been better with the double. Ignore it for now. I'll ignore it for now. I don't I just you have to be so selective as the witch. That's the thing. You can't just hey, it's a dice enemy! How are you getting on with the dungeons? Feeling at home yet? After all, it's not like you're ever gonna leave. Alright, we got freeze dice. Hey! Okay, we don't have Hall of Mirrors. Or we can't get Hall of Mirrors, rather. I don't love that turn. But we don't really want him to roll odd numbers I knew that was gonna happen what was I thinking it's not like oh I'm so surprised now I shouldn't shouldn't have done that and I'm actually gonna give myself a cauldron because I'm kind of sick <laughs> sick of what's happening here I'm gonna take shock instead I honestly hit me with it baby 
Shock me, baby, one more time. It's the fun thing you can do is just, like, overwrite, overwrite your thing. Oh, my God. Come on, though. This is definitely very annoying right now. Definitely very annoying. Really nice if we could freeze more than once. I hate this. I hate what I'm doing. I didn't. Oh, I meant to put that down. Okay, that's fine. If we're one off lethal, I'm gonna be very upset. Thank you for the crystal ball, because this is going rough. Okay, so that's five, seven. Okay, so that's 12. Okay, we don't have lethal. At least not guaranteed. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do that. Right there. Guaranteed. No problem. How are you doing this? It's like you believe there's a way out or something. Guys, I'm starting to think that there's no way out. But an even more sneaking, sneaky, sneaky su suspicion that maybe there actually is. Gold cauldron could be cute. I would prefer silver cauldron, which is the version of that that actually gives you an odd die. It does exist. It's out there. It exists. I just had to double check. Make sure that I am confident I don't want these things. I'm like not super confident I don't want that. Like, there's something to be said about that plus magic shield being so guaranteed, especially because I think the upgrade... Yeah, the upgrade does four shields. That's not bad. Like, that's really not bad. Okay. Snowman versus Freeze. He kind of digs it, to be honest. He does not mind being frozen. Does not mind it whatsoever. We're going to go this way first. I believe Freeze does hit him hard. Yeah, Freeze hits him hard because that this could be literally anything that... Yeah, 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 yeah. We love a Freeze here. Probably just should have put it in the slot down there to get two rerolls. Just kind of want to keep that slot open, though. Do you want to do three damage and get a Freeze? Or we might save ourselves. Because, yeah, it always freezes the biggest number. That we would have been blinded there. What the hell are you saying? Duplicate. Okay. We could do that so we can get ourselves an extra magic missile. I'm going to put it here even though we could get extra damage. Because I want to make sure we still have duplicate. Because the duplicate that's upgraded, you can put anything in there. There's no limit. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Okay. We not want. What am I doing? What am I doing? I can do this. Turn it into a six effectively so we can do an ice shard that we can then do blap 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 that's what we're doing baby one bajillion iq we take two damage it's fine get our crystal ball which i don't think we're gonna need okay that's lethal good deal good deal not looking forward to fighting mr snowman not looking forward to fighting Mr. Loudbird. Repeat the next attack. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If we just unlock another slot, we can literally start with it. Where's the upgrade? Doesn't let me see. So I'm like, I'm gonna do it. 
I'm gonna invest. Invest in my future here. Trying to think, what's the best? I think I think ice for the loud bird too, and then we're gonna unlock this shop up here. <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't care what I said. We're gonna we're gonna go out of control. We're gonna get out of control here. Who cares? Bring it on, baby. Bring it on. Okay, so we Loudbird did not get the dodge. It's normally a trap. <laughs> it's normally a trap. What do we got? Our, what do we? What do we even have on our two nowadays? Oh my god! What did I put on my two? Is my two duplicate? I think two is our duplicate. So who would? I just, okay, let's just get the freeze in there, and then we can't throw because we're unable to be silenced. It's okay though. It's fine. We're not gonna. We're gonna take one damage. We won't be able to do a lot. Here's the thing, look at all these freaking dice we have in our hand now. It's a lot, ain't it? What am I doing? What am I doing? Why? Why must I why must I do this to myself? What watch, we're gonna be able to throw all of our dice at it. Just throw our dice at the problem. He's not gonna do more than one damage to us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can do ten unblockable damage every turn now. Ten unblockable damage. This is so wacky. The hell am I doing? What the hell am I doing? Why why am I why do I continue to do this? We could even fury and do it even more. I'm gonna do it. What? Wait. Why would? Why would that matter? I could just put that. In, okay. Whatever. That's fine. I'm just. I'm. I'm messing around here. If you can't tell, I'm. I'm messing around full on. This is going full goof style. We didn't freeze. I thought we froze. Okay, this is gonna hurt. All right, so we have 13 dice now. <laughs> Why do this? Why'd I do it? Why'd I do it? Okay. Hami yum yum yum. Okay. So we got an ice shard. Put it here. Do that. Ice shard. Do that. Ice shard. Do that. Magic missile. Do that. Magic missile. Do that. <laughs> what am I doing? Oops. Oh no! I didn't mean to do. Seriously? It took the one that I really didn't want it to. I really needed that one. I was going to put the cauldron down here. That literally... That literally stopped me from getting lethal. <laughs> stopped me from getting lethal. So we might as well gain an extra die. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Come on. Loud bird, why? Alright, please, apple for sale. There's no apple for sale. Uh oh. Um.
Hmm. I just, we get the ability to level up. I hate that I'm doing this. We get the ability to level up next time, though. I think I can handle it. No, against my, against my better judgment, I think I can handle it. He's weak to fire, you know? So we need to do pretty crazy damage to him. I just kind of want to have another move. I'll tell you what, sure. We'll put that there for later. It's 20 damage, man. And the burn does bonus damage, if I remember correctly, too. Yep, it does four. So this is going to hurt, like, a little bit. It's more just annoying because we're going to get frozen. Oh, it's, like, really quite annoying. You know what? What does this do? Burn two die. Ah! Sure! At least we're going to do eight damage. Uh-oh. This is going to hurt. Oh, uh, we need lethal. It's a good thing we got crystal ball. I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. I wasn't even sweating for a darn second. Should I have messed around with the loud bird as much as I did? Definitely not. Definitely not. Blizzard tempts me. You tempt me, Blizzard. You tempt me. I wish we could just buy it and put it in our back pocket, but we can't do that. All right, uh, Crystalina is very, very weak to ice. Um, duplicate right away is actually really handy. I don't know what I was thinking with Fury Spell. I don't think I'm going to really use it very much. Alright. Huh. I must know. Da. Da. It's good to know, though. It's good to know. What the upgraded version does do. I hate Curse so much. Oh my god. Where are we going to get screwed over? I should I should put that in duplicate. Okay, that was a very big misplay. <laughs> I deserve this. I deserve this. That's fine. I deserve whatever harm befall- Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why didn't I duplicate first? Why didn't I duplicate first? Uh-oh. I mean, we still- Fury saved up. Okay. Kind of figured that would happen. I just kind of, sort of wanted to see. Just do another freeze. At this point, we should just do that. Okay. I mean, freeze a lot. It helps. She can't stock up. We just get... Yeah, there you go. We can't get... We can't even get attacked this turn for damage. Hardly a problem. Hardly a freaking problem. We did get cursed, which is so annoying. Just keep doing it. Keep doing it. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of damage. And we're going to figure out what the hell this other crystallize is. Uh, no! No! You've got to be kidding me! Ah! I'm just making it so we're gonna be <laughs> We're guaranteed to be cursed. We're also like guaranteed to not take very much damage. It's kind of kind of the flip side. Slowly but surely we're getting a little destroyed here. Please. 
Oh, you let me do it. You let me do it again. I'm going to throw that one just buku damage. <laughs> by, and by that, I mean two. Okay, see, there you go. We saved ourselves from taking uh, six damage. We're not going to get hit at all this turn. Oh, wait. Actually, we don't know what's happening over here. Okay. That could be annoying, but it's going to be fine. This is so frustrating. Oh my god. Oh my god, Crystalina. This is just what a toxic build. Because these are random. These are random from a from a pool. I hate this. Dang it! <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Okay, well, no matter what we get to kill next turn. Um, no, we don't. Not guaranteed. This has been so annoying. Actually, now we do, because we have a burning die. Alright. I don't play these games, Crystalina. You're dead. Holy freaking moly. That, 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 ooh, ow. Ooh, ooh, ow, ooh, ooh, ow. Do 20 damage. Burn all dice. That can be great. Obviously. Kind of want to save my money for the apple. I mean, we could get both. Here's my question. Like, should we get that instead of Inferno? Like, if we have... Okay. Say we had... Like, a ho the Hall of Mirrors build. That would have been, you know... It's really easy. What does the upgraded version of it do? I just don't know. Does it, can we check? No. I mean, because that, that makes a difference. Meteor, I mean... Ah, could be great. Could be great. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace Fury. No, I kind of liked what it did with the duplicate, though. It just, this is hard. This is hard. I already bought it now, though. We're not using Magic Missile, but that doesn't mean... That's not necessarily because we shouldn't. I could replace Hall of Mirrors, but Hall of Mirrors would go great with Meteor. But it's for, it's for the Long Con. We can't play the Long Con against the Poison Enemy, and I don't think we can play the Long Con against the Singer either. So... This twice would be hilarious, though. Oh my god, why do I- I just want to do it just to see that dirty magic happen. But if I cover up all the mirrors, it seems like it doesn't make any sense, you know? I'm so conflicted on this one. And I already bought it, so like... I have to- now it just makes it even harder. My question is, should I- fine. Fine, fine. I don't like that I did that. Singer, I think, is pretty weak to Ice Shard. Two Ice Shards, an idea. Hmm. See, right now, with Meteor, it would have been great if we had the uh, Ice... Ice cannon or whatever the hell it was to make her roll a one. That would have been great. Yeah, I've got conflicts. I think I'm gonna go with duplicate die. Just you can make a lot of magic happen out of nowhere. All right. Please, oh please. Okay. Good. Good start. Good start. Good start. Good start. Ow. Okay, freezes that. It helps us because we can keep ourselves from maybe ever getting the high note. The downside is we're going to get weakened a lot. Which is quite annoying. Hmm. Can't get that. We could put duplicate here. It would be kind of a waste. We could get a magic missile out. hate this. I hate this. 
Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. And that five is going straight to the high note. Straight to the high note. We might actually lose, you know? Like, I don't think we're going to lose on this fight, but I think we could totally lose just overall here. Okay. Do I want to freeze too? I do. I do. I do. I do. Oh, yeah. That was a good call. That was a good call. We would have been getting the high note this turn, huh? Now we got crystal ball. It's all down to you now this turn. Oh, baby. I feel like we shouldn't do this before we know what we're going to do, but. I, think I'm gonna, I mean, I'm going to duplicate. We love sixes. Sixes are amazing for us. I feel like we have lethal, but let me just look at it here. So, like. Hold on. Hold on. I, th I think there's lethal here, but I just need to piece it together. This is a puzzle right now. This is definitely a puzzle. So we can do six damage, or we could wait. We could do, okay, we could do, we could do four. Put that down. Seven. Put that down. Okay, maybe we don't have lethal doing it the way that I thought with the ice shard, but I feel like we could make magic happen with that. We could put magic missile in here. We could be doing it seven. We do have two threes, though that's 14 damage. Do we have, if we put this in here. Okay, so then three and three. So this, we'll put these threes over here. So those plus the two even numbers is good enough there. That's that's 14 damage if we put it in this slot. That leaves us needing to do three. Which we can get by doing that. Smooth. I just had I had to work it out in my head because I knew we had lethal. I knew we had lethal. I just had to work it out because it was just such a mess. All right, unlock the apple path. Get in here. This is why. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We are one shy there. All right, Wolfman. He's not necessarily. You know, you don't really want to freeze him as much. Not as big of a benefit. I feel like maybe we actually want to do this. Freezing him helps you take a little bit less damage, but you also, like, if he rolls under a f or above a four, then you're, you know, you don't take the damage. Really beneficial. Under, th over a three. Okay. Well, hell yeah, man. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Just like that. No problemo. Okay, it's a bit of damage. It's a bit of damage. I'm not gonna lie. It's a bit of damage. Okay, so what do we got? We got 4, 8, 12, 16. It's not enough. It's fine. It's fine. We can go a turn without doing anything. It's 20 damage. Okay. All right. We're fine. We got it. We, he's dead next turn. We're going to take five damage plus the poison. Yeah, I don't love it. I don't love what, what happened there, but, you know, we got lethal. Just like that. Girl, one day I'll beat you, and could you take another message to my kid? Could you tell him not to remember? Tell him to remember the gardener is our colleague. He's not allowed to eat him. Thanks. Oh, my goodness. All right, all right, baby. All right, all right. Mr. Skeleton. Mr. Skeleton. I think we could take him down. I feel like Ice actually wrecks Skeleton quite quite well. I believe his, um, his attacks are just based off of what you roll effectively. Like, I mean, I, oh, what a wild thought. But I'm saying, you know, like, he rolls a six, he does six damage. Like, he has a, a thing that has two slots. If he rolls two sixes, that's 12 damage. 
I believe is how he works. So I think we can take him down. There is something to be said about just leaving the floor right now. For sure. Like, don't get me wrong. I know that. Okay. We can actually do some pretty nasty work here. What do I want that for? For I don't know. Yeah. I'm very curious about what the upgraded meteor does. Should I find out? I should find out. Oh, well. Well. Okay. We're not going to take it really, you know. Oh no, two damage. I mean, the curse is very annoying, and it's going to make me cry my... Oh, wow. Nothing over three, huh? It's going to make me cry my face off. When it inevitably curses my meteor here. Okay. That didn't go well. That didn't go well. See, that's that's damage there. That's damage. And we, of course, we got another curse there. Yikes. What have we done? Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. I was so terrified that was going to be bad. Oh, five damage, whatever. Hardly a problem. We got guaranteed. Like, this guy's, this guy's screwed. We might not kill him on this turn. Oh, okay. I don't know what I'm thinking there. I was kind of messed up there. Okay, we're going to take a wallop in, but he didn't get Shriek, so we have guaranteed kill. Not only do we have guaranteed kill, we got guaranteed kill with style, man. Meteor to the face. We got Crystal Ball saved up for the final boss. You hapless, Your hapless flesh will fail you one day. Can't rely on anything except bones. It's true. We're all just in a meaty spacesuit that has an expiration date. Another upgraded spell slot or another prepared spell slot. This is tough. Like, because sometimes just ramping up is... I'm going to go with another prepared slot. I think that we can make some really big magic happen. Who is it? Who is it? Audrey again? What the what the hell? Okay. What about that? So, okay, she... What was it? She... Shoot, I, I fought her twice. So you'd think I'd remember. I, she has the weakened move that does rely on... Okay, you know what? I think, actually, freeze is a really good way to go. We will keep one meteor, just in case I'm wrong here. Or we'll, we'll keep one meteor. We'll keep the one meteor in there. And the one other... We got Crystal Ball to start with, which is always great, though. Hey, you there. Believe in yourself. You can do it. You can win. Maybe not today, because I'm going to do my very best to beat you, but one day... All right. We got no odd numbers. Now we got an odd number. So. We got no twos. I would have loved to get another duplicate. Definitely duplicating that. Let me double check. What are your moves? Even numbers. Okay, you know, Freeze is amazing against uh, I'm amazing. Like, to the point where I'm considering just going all in here. All in on that. Bing, bing, bow. So, yeah. There you go. We're not even going to take any damage that turn. Pretty freaking cool. Uh, I really wish I would have rolled something high enough to duplicate, but at least we're going to be doing some damage here. We will not get lucky enough to uh, survive an earthquake, though. We, we, get, we get a little bopped. Get a little bopped, and I think... Okay, it still does get frozen. All right, all right, all right, all right. We can duplicate this. I'm 
just thinking. All right. So you do three. Or we could do, so we could do bang, bang. Okay, so hold on. So we can put three damage up there. Could Ice Shard put this down here? It would let us put a five or a six in there. Put the six in there. We could, no, we wouldn't want to do that. It wouldn't make any sense. Just trying to think of the way we can do the most damage. Honestly, I think it is just like... Unfortunately, I think it's just like that. And then we could haul the mirrors. I think I'd have more fun with the uh, the duplicated die right now, though. Okay, we're actually going to take damage now from the that normal attack. All is pretty well, though, to be honest. All is quite well. You can just slowly chip down the boss there. Three frozen die. Oh no, we're not gonna take any damage again. It's almost like Freeze is like amazing. <laughs> Just almost. Easy enough, easy enough again. Honestly, kind of just a really straightforward one there. Sure, bada bing bada bow. We're gonna take an Earthquake to the face, so we may not kill this turn. But honestly, we might, depending on what gets, okay. See here. Shoot. Should put the thing in there first. So there. I mean, oh. Hold on. I get sometimes I get so wrapped up that I don't realize we are committing extreme overkill. Well that's the witch right there. Really not too bad. What a fight! You were amazing! Honestly, I just lost myself in the moment. I forgot I was even on cameras all about the spells and the dice. What a wonderful experience. Shall we find out whether you've won a prize? I mean, it's not really about the prize, is it? But also, yes. It's time to spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. If it lands on the prize, then you get your heart's desire. More social media followers, I think? That's right. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Of course it is. Ah, oh, hell. Ah, oh, bad luck. It looks like that's a no. But don't worry, you made it through to the next episode. There's another chance to win. So we got unlocked episodes now. Collect. Cool. Oh, it's like a little, uh, look at that. A little bestiary we unlocked. Pretty cool. Complete any six episodes. Okay, so this is like the the general progression. These are the achievements, I believe. All right. So, yeah, there we go. The, un the episodes are unlocked again. We don't get the uh, spoiler character right yet. To unlock him, question mark, question mark, question mark. I don't know what we have to do. Sorry, unlock them. Who knows who they are? So then we're going to be able to pick between our other episodes here. Quite exciting. We get to go back and do each character again, but with their own special unique quirks. Each of them have six, six unique episodes that are all quite different from each other. And uh, yeah, there's just a hell of a lot more game left. And apparently the sixth and final unlock is going to be the what a lot of roguelike people would consider to be the quote-unquote real game or whatever, where you just yeah, come back and uh, a lot of stuff is going to be randomized. All of the items from all of the pools are going to be put into the same thing within, I think, within reason. I'm not sure. So I'm quite excited to get there eventually. But for now, we do have to work our way there. But that has been it for today. Do subscribe for daily Dicey Dungeons, the daily dose of Dicey Dungeons, okay? Thank you, thank you. If you liked the video, press like upon it. If you don't, Get out of here. I don't want you. I don't want you here. No, thank you. I mean, you can you can stay. You can stay and just like the video, I guess. I prefer if you liked it, of course. I'm a human. But thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.